to Advent Reflection Series. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I know that at the beginning of this Advent, many of us are struggling and are trying to make ends meet. Students have assignments that are due and they have the exam season right ahead of them. Let me just say that I feel for you and pray for you. I am sure that you will do a great job. Rely on the grace of God and on the intercession of St. Joseph of Cupertino. From personal experience, I can tell you that that combination really does work. Adults struggle with other things, year-end tasks and goals uh, that need to be met in the workplace, getting the house in order for Christmas, shopping for presents for family and friends, battling the traffic that's associated with that. The list probably goes on and on. Priests, what do priests struggle with at this time? Making sure that our parishioners are prepared for the coming of the Lord, hearing confessions that help people overcome their weaknesses, and giving retreats that provide sound advice to our parishioners and allow them to go into the desert with Jesus for at least a short period of time, showing warmth, love, and peace that reflects Christ laying in the manger. There are many things that contribute to the stress of this time and many things that make this season a lot more stressful. But when you think about it, the time leading up to the birth of Jesus Christ must have been very stressful too. Mary and Joseph must have had many difficult conversations around the Annunciation. After all, Mary left Joseph, her husband, and went to spend time with her cousin Elizabeth in the visitation for a while. Later on, the census and the travel to Bethlehem of the pregnant Mary and Joseph not finding a place to rest, having to stay in a grotto, a stable, or something like that with animals. All of this must have contributed to the stress of that time. How are we therefore supposed to handle all this stress? What can we do to minimize its impact on us? And how can we grow from these experiences? First of all, we need to be able to identify the source of our stress. This sometimes proves to be a challenge because we take upon ourselves a lot in the Advent season. Identifying what it is that stresses us out can help us focus on a way that we can resolve our problems and can minimize the stress that we are dealing with. Blaming everyone, family, friends, and others makes no sense if we have put too much on our own plates. That is why the second thing that we need to do is pray for patience in love. St. Mother Teresa once said that when you give someone all your love, you can never be sure that you will receive the same in return. Do not expect that in response to your love, someone will love you. Only hope that love will flourish in the heart of that person. But if it doesn't, be happy because love has at least flourished in your own heart. This is especially true when the stress uh, that we are facing is maybe caused by someone who is close to us. Maybe a relationship between a parent and child is stressed. And maybe you are waiting for an apology, a conversation, a simple response that isn't coming. What St. Mother Teresa was trying to say is that we should not lose hope. We should not give up. We should keep in love. Everything that we do in love, so in love sooner or later will speak to the heart of another person. Heart speaks to heart as St. John Henry Newman said. This may take a long time, but the investment is worth it. Patience builds love. And when we remain in love, and love is patient, peace is bound to grow. If we want to handle stress well, if we want to be able to handle burnout, we need to invest in love. When we do, it truly does grow in us. Another thing that we can do to alleviate stress is to simply pray. And this may sound very basic to some of you, but prayer does help with stress. Those who are stressed should pray like St. Teresa of Avila prayed. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God 
lacks nothing. God alone suffices. Personally, when I am in my office and I am feeling stressed, sometimes I just put my hands on the back of my head, lean back in my chair, and look at the cross hanging on the wall. At that moment, everything stops. Everything calms down. And only the Lord is in front of me. And He always brings peace. There is one more prayer that I would like to recommend to those who are stressed about the future. Here I am thinking about mostly my students. But this is a good prayer for all those who are ex expecting stressful change in their lives. This is a prayer that St. Jose Maria Escriva offered to one of his friends. My Lord and my God, into your hands I abandon the past and the present and the future, what is small and what is great, what amounts to a little and what amounts to a lot, things temporal and things eternal. Finishing off his letter, St. Jose Maria Escriva concluded, then you don't need to worry about anything. Brothers and sisters, these are just a few things that you can do to have not a stressless Advent, because I don't think that is possible, but a blessed Advent where we grow and where we can find peace that allows us to, like the shepherd, look into the manger of our Lord and Redeemer and find real peace. I invite everybody to join me for uh, the next week's reflection here on our Newman Center social media pages. God bless.